Hey all, welcome back. Today we're gonna do some more beans and instant pot. Kind of has become my theme lately, based on the last video. And this is how you guys did on guessing what this bean and instant pot dish is going to be for this video. How close were you to guessing? Yes, we're gonna make some instant pot chili today. And this is supposed to be a dish that you can quickly saute, dump, stuff in the instant pot and then just chill while the dish cooks itself one of the greatest things about having an instant pot plus the cleanups are minimal let's get started first turn your instant pot to saute mode normal heat is perfect and when that beeps add in your olive oil and just heat this until it's hot then add in your onions jalapenos and your minced garlic just give that a quick stir. So these are the veggies that I've used. Doesn't mean that you have to use the same veggies. So instead of jalapenos, feel free to add in some peppers instead. And if you want a spicier pepper, but not as spicy as a jalapeno, try poblano. They are great and my favorite types of pepper. So we are cooking this until the onions have softened to become a bit translucent so this needs a bit more time but it's about halfway there now one of my pet peeves with an instant pot is the lack of control with the heat settings at least with my model and what i'm talking about is when you're cooking on the stove with the pan if it's too hot you can put the pan aside or lower the heat with this you only get like low normal and high settings which really kind of makes you saute really carefully because you have to make sure nothing burns and there's a higher risk i feel of things burning in the instant pot while sauteing compared to the pan now these are looking actually pretty nice the jalapenos have kind of become spicier the onions smell sweeter and then to this i'm gonna add in a nice half cup of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce we'll give that a light saute just to roast that slightly just to kind of awaken those flavors that's the can that i'm using chipotle peppers and adobo sauce and when i tell you that that's spicy that's gonna blow your head off but i kind of like that spice so consider half cup what i'm using to be Kind of like the medium level of spice. If you want really spicy, I don't know how you're gonna do it, but use the whole can. But just for like a mild level of spice, which is needed for a well-balanced dish, put at least two tablespoons. And now to this, add in your meat. Make sure you break it into smaller chunks. And while the meat is still pink, season it. That's gonna help seal those flavors inside that meat. So I'm only gonna add in some salt because we're adding some pepper later on. Plus, there's a lot of seasoning, lots of flavor in the chipotle pepper and the adobo sauce. So the meat now is almost all browned and we have no real huge chunks of them left. So now let's add in our tomato. They're just some diced tomatoes. And here I have some kidney beans. These are the canned variety. And then some pinto beans as well. Then add in all of your broth. And then some tomato paste. Right in there. A little bit of sugar. And the sugar is really there to kind of balance out all the other savory aspects of this Dish. Now, we don't want to make it sweet. That's why it's only a little bit, just enough to kind of offset the other spicier and savory flavors. And then all of your other spices. So I got some ground cumin, oregano, black pepper, smoked paprika, chili powder, and then some cayenne for more heat. All of that in there. And then just use a bit of muscle and just stir that all together. It's already looking amazing and smelling great too so now just hit cancel 
then close the lid of the instant pot. Make sure that it is on singing mode all the way back. And now switch it to bean and chili mode for about 18 minutes. So once it's done cooking and it's done beeping, we're gonna let the pressure release naturally for 10 to 15 minutes and then do a manual release. Just do it very carefully without burning your hands. Just turn the valve the other way. Okay, pressure is released. Let's have a peek. Now, first of all, that color, that redness, that is beautiful. I'm pretty sure it was the tomatoes and the adobo sauce, the chipotle that did this nice, bright red color. Now, give this a taste. It definitely needs a bit of salt. Let's add that in there. Give that a quick mix. I'm going to adjust the consistency of it just a little bit. So hit cancel, saute, and then just let that simmer gently until it has thickened and it's to your liking. If you like a thicker chili from the get go, then just put lesser broth when you pressure cook. Now this over here, this is just to my liking. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. Just a nice hearty texture. Now, you'll be lying if you said that this does not make you want to just devour it. Now something to keep in mind is the more you thicken the sauce when it's hot, the thicker it'll become as that sauce cools down. In this case, the liquid in the chili. So just keep that in mind as you're thinking about what consistency you want your chili to be. Now, gotta have a bite of this. That cheese, that's some rich, thick, creamy sour cream. This is all mine. So if you want your chili made in the Instant Pot, just in a really relaxed, chill way, follow this recipe on the website, follow me on Instagram, all the sneak peeks behind the scenes, stories, all the shebang. And if you want some motivation on how to push yourself in the kitchen, then check out the description box down below for a free guide. And for more Instant Pot recipes and for more beans, check out my playlists. See you in the next one. Bye guys.